Hey, so this is Gary again from Helm of Sun Valley in San Mateo, California, helm-sport.com. And in this video, I want to go over the amazing Artemis electric bike. Just as an overview, the amazing is producing great bikes for the money. They're lightweight, they're powerful, they have features on them found on much more expensive electric bikes. And so for the money, they probably are one of the best values going. Let's go over some of the, some of the highlights of, of, of this Artemis. First of all, uh, it's got a nice LCD on it. Gives you the miles per hour reading, the overall odometer reading, the battery level, the level of pedal assistance. This happens to have four levels. And then you go into the fifth level, it activates the throttle. And there's each change the levels of pedal assistance there. Um, so it's got disc brakes, Tektro disc brakes. It's got a gooseneck here, which you can adjust up and down for riding comfort, for your own personal riding comfort. You can remove some of these spacers here to give a little, if you want a more of a bent over type of a, a ride, you can do that too. So it does give you lots of options. It's got a shock here, which is real nice. It's not a full blown uh, mountain bike shock, but you don't really need that on, on a, a, a road bike. This makes sense. It's lighter weight, that kind of thing. One of the other things is the tires on these make sense too. They're 700 C, so it's nice and big, gives you less rolling resistance. And it's a 40, uh, thir it's a 38 centimeter tire. Not super skinny, not big and fat, but it just makes sense for efficient rolling resistance, efficient riding, but still fairly robust. It's got steel fenders, which is really nice. These are double walled steel fenders. Mostly at this price point, you usually find either no fenders at all or else just cheap plastic fenders. This is steel with steel struts. Just shows the kind of quality that they're putting into the bike. A 12 amp hour battery, water bottle style, easy to get replacements for this. It's a very ubiquitous type of product. Um, FSA crank set, super nice. This is something, FSA is something you might find on a $4,000 Stromer bike. Um, aluminum chain guard here. It's got a chain, um, anti-chain skipping device there, so it gives a little resistance to accidentally coming off. Oh, one of the other things I failed to point out was it has um, in-cable, in-frame cable routing, which is really nice. Uh, down here you have uh, the, the access to the controller, which is the brains of the e-bike. And then as we move back, uh, you got some guards here, this, this neoprene guard, which is a nice feature. Seven-speed cassette. Oh, one of the really important things about this bike, and I cannot overstate this, there's two kinds of pedal assistance. One is just cadence, and then the other is um, torque sensor. This is torque sensor. So what torque sensor means is the harder you press on the pedals, it's going to know how hard you're pressing on the pedals and it's going to add more juice. In a less expensive cadence sensor style bike, it just knows that you're going around. It doesn't know how hard you're pressing on the pedals. And this torque sensor is the same kind of torque sensor that you would find on a $4,000 Stromer bike. Um, so really high quality stuff there. And then as we move up, uh, metal rack, double weld steel fenders again, disc brakes in the back. Uh, and then is oh, moving over to here, the other kind of neat thing is that this has a kickstand in the back, which I think makes a lot of sense because it doesn't interfere with the pedals at all, um, which is kind of nice when a kickstand is right here. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain if the pedal hits the kickstand, that sort of thing. So that's it. Um, this is the happens to be the Artemis model. You also make the Celine, which is a step through, also very lightweight. So overall, realistically, the the amazing amazing company is bringing out really great bikes at great price points with features that you only find on much more expensive bikes, and um, just a super good bike, and really one of the best values you can find nowadays. In an electric bike. So, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, give me the big thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, you can always call us at the store or put a comment down in the comment section below this. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.